Bro, when you did that, it shook the plant. No, it did. Hopefully, I only have to use two. Your girl misjudged, completely misjudged the amount of yards I would need. I hope this fits over his head. It's so nice. started on my second trunk. This one is for my boyfriend. I just finished up the sample piece and writing up my pattern. So I'm gonna go through my pattern once again, use that as a guideline based off his measurements because it's a made to measure pattern. I'm gonna use that and then see how it fits on him, if everything is accurate, and then I'll go forward with finding testers. So I am using paint box yarns in Simply Chunky. I'm glad it's chunky so then it'll work up a little faster than me using DK or Aran Weight. Anyway, I like when it's thicker so then you have like more of a, a comfier look but the ribbing is still pretty defined. So I go down a millimeter size for the recommended hook. Yeah, we have this green color that he chose. Hopefully I only have to use two. Let's get started. about a week, a week and a half since I last recorded. And that is because your girl misjudged, completely misjudged the amount of yards I would need. So I had to reorder and wait. I overcompensated this time around by buying three more skeins of the same yarn when I probably only needed one more realistically. I totally could have finished it within that day but because of my little mistake, this project has been pushed back by a week and a half. And within that span of time, I was actually able to make this sweater, which I already have posted, so you can watch that after this. And I also was able to make a whole nother shrug for a custom piece that someone bought. Let me show you that actually. I really like how it turned out. This is the custom piece in multicolored yarn. I think it turned out really nice. And then I have my label and then I'm just prepping it so then I can ship it out within this week. Initially, this was supposed to be a late Valentine's Day gift, but because we're way past that at this point and it's already the start of March, I think I'll just push it to give it to him for his birthday, which is coming up. But yeah, let's just continue um, and finish this up and get to it. That's your yarn I'm opening. Oh, I'm trying to get you back. finished filming and editing a whole tutorial not a whole tutorial but a tutorial um, for additional help when it comes to my shrug pattern and I used his shrug as a demonstration yeah so I've just been working on that and editing that but if you buy the pattern you can see it for yourself so I'm almost nearly done what I want to do I've kind of switched around the order of my pattern so then that way I, when I see him in person I can fully complete the piece to ensure it's like the perfect perfect fit on him so I'm working it in a different way but once I see him I'm just gonna finish up a few ends and then wrap it up present it to him again and then have him model it wear it and do as he pleases with it 
We're almost done. We're almost done. This fits over his head. We, I mean, I did, I, he took measurements for himself, so it should fit, but the big head. Let's see, maybe I can test it myself. Let's say his head's like, oh yeah. I think I'll be, uh, hold on, my hair is up. Oh yeah, it'll fit him, pretty sure. You're done? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Do a little twirl. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, give it back. No. I'm wearing it. You can't take it off me. It's not your birthday yet? No. I'll wear it until my birthday. I'll shower in it. This is my motivation to get skinnier too. <laughs> and, and bigger arms. Bigger arms. Fill it up. Okay, give it. Oh. Give this. Give that back. So I just finished Max's shrug. I had to pry it off after he tried it on a few days ago because I want to present it to him nicely for his birthday. We are gonna do that now and see how the final final piece looks on him. And I'll show you all that. It's here, it's finally here. Do you want to model in my place? I see you and I see you. Thanks, bro.